welcome back to our devotions. First of all, a very, very, very happy Teacher's Day to all my teachers out there. Thank you so much for being the ones that shaped and molded me to where I am. I mean, this is not a cliche, a real happy Teacher's Day. You know, these days, uh, uh, just the other day, uh, you know, me and my wife, we were sitting down and as we were thinking about how the education of our children should be, uh, we were thinking about, you know, how they should become, uh, what they should become and when they should become, where they should be in 5, 10 years, 20 years. We have a lot of plans. But basically, the inner core, the inner desire of every, you know, every parent's heart is that they should be able to, you know, be, be, be given the priority of an education where the, the, the driving force, the inner core force is more important than the outward expressions of whatever he or she should become later in life. The basic inner core is, the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. This is not a cliche. This is exactly the practical living thing. I'm not just trying to quote some of our teachers way back in high school, giving us this. I remember, uh, um, you know, many of our teachers used to, they loved the Proverbs and they used and we were not so, you know, into it. But now when I think back, it is true. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. That's it. Beyond that is the periphery. So this morning, I have decided to, you know, entitle my uh, short sharing as Jesus, the word, the letter that teaches. This is an ode to all my teachers who've really molded and shaped me to where I am. I have taken this letters as uh, from uh, you know uh, from the second corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 i have paraphrased it to you are letters read by everyone a letter from christ written not with ink but with the spirit of the living god not on tablets but in human hearts basically you know uh, today is a teacher's day so you will be receiving a lot of acronyms and your, the, the mails will be, wishes will be bombarding your mails and phones and things like that. But I, this morning I want to, uh, you know, introduce you to the secret indwelling teacher who is in every one of us, who gives you the right conscience, the right prick at the right time. That is Jesus himself. Before that, why do we celebrate the, uh, you know, <clears throat> the teacher's day in India? I'm reminded of the person, you know, who, who who really inspired this day? Okay, uh, Sarvapali Radhakrishnan. Uh, he is a tele, He's a he's from he's a Telugu man, and uh, of course we've heard about him since our high school days. Every Teachers' Day, you know, uh, we've we've heard about him. He was a, the, the the first vice president of India and became the second president of India and things like that. Okay, and then I went on a little closer when I reached college. When I went to study in Madras Christian College, he happened to be an alumni from there. And he happened to be in the hall where I stayed. I saw the photo galleries and it like made me draw more closer to him. Okay, So I began to do a lot of you know readings about uh, Radha Krishnan. And then when I went to my Bachelor of Divinity course, we were thought, we were, you know, made to read the Indian philosophy. And then Radha Krishnan again came into picture. So he stands very close to my heart. And that is why we celebrate the Teacher's Day. Now, of course, now leaving him on this day, I want to go forward to teach something about the indwelling teacher, something about Jesus Christ. You know, uh, Rajaram Mohan Roy in the precepts of Christ gives a very high pedestal to where Jesus stands as the greatest teacher of all time. And then come to Mahatma Gandhi. He also says the same thing about Jesus, the greatest teacher of all time. And then we have people like, you know, Indian philosophers like Robin Boyd. And and then in our own times, Arvind Kejriwal, just two years back, he made a very big, huge comment. Jesus has a perfect epitome of what politicians should be this time, you know. And then after that, let us know. We cannot leave aside what Deepak Chopra says in The Third Jesus. There is the historical Jesus, there is the theological Jesus, and the third Jesus as the, the, the Jesus that we cannot ignore, the teacher in himself. So this passage, really, you know, this uh, Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 talks about letters 
talks about letters. Jesus was the letter himself. The embodiment of whatever he thought, whatever he taught us in word and deed. That is what an indwelling teacher is. The Bible talks a lot about mysteries. The Old Testament people could not you know, comprehend what that mystery was. And even Paul and Peter, you know, they were always in, you know, uh, talking about the mysteries of God and they could not comprehend. Peter was, uh, he could not comprehend certain things about the, the mysteries of God and the, the Gentiles coming into, you know, the Jewish fold and things like that. Okay, there is a mystery of God, but the greatest mystery is the indwelling teacher. And then we as, we are also teachers who, and then the Bible says that we are teachers, we are letters, okay? We are read by everyone, okay? A letter from Christ, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets, but on human hearts. So we should be progressive teachers, not just, you know, uh, parroting things, but a life-saving, a life-giving force that we are, let us all remember that Jesus embodied that and let us all be letters. Happy Teach Day.